homeowners out there. In this video, Kathy and I walk around uh, Lamar Street in Americas, Georgia. We show you some of the buildings and what used to be in them. We also show you about some of the history that was uh, way in the past, all the way back to 1840. Kathy's mic didn't seem to be working as we did our tour. I didn't know that until I got home. Uh, so wherever she said things that I thought were important that I couldn't really hear uh, when I was editing the video, I put a text in, in, in the video itself. Uh, we also ran into the problem that uh, along Lamar Street right here, they have uh, speakers on the street that play music. Uh, so I had to mute those sections and I replaced that music with uh, licensed music from YouTube. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you uh, will leave us a comment, we appreciate that. Uh, if you subscribed already, we give you a thank you. If you haven't su uh, subscribed yet and, and will, we ask that you, you subscribe to our channel. Uh, share this video with somebody that you know, and we just ask you have a very, very blessed day. idea where you want this there you go yeah I just filmed walking from a truck yeah Eighteen hundred, it's open. Yes, yes. Why you wanted to say something? Okay. It says, uh, ah, gracious, Taylor McLeod Antiques and Gifts, honey. I know it's uneven. Take a walk in there. I understood that's why I made sure of that, honey. See Taylor McLeod? Yeah. yeah. And this is the Rylander building, honey, right? Right there. It's where Habitat for Humanity is. Yeah, I, I usually ask, and I just, I just slip my mind, honey. I, yeah, probably better just the video from outside on the street. Well, I, the the store itself is just the people, you know. Hmm. Says that that building was 
And then uh, we have the Rylander Theater. I think they can move back down here, honey. Right. And then we said we we're going to walk down this way, honey. So it's Cotton yeah. Avenue. Country Financial. The little share book library's empty looks like that like that place is closed honey little boutique honey gen x having a sale says it's closed too so that's what the sign says on the door honey And then you told you was talking about this place across the street. Uh -huh. It hasn't been there long, has it? No. So I guess we're going back up the street now. You want to cross over? Yeah, we can. Uh huh. Uh huh. These look like they're empty now. Yeah. Looks like that might be empty too, honey. There's stuff in there though, but I don't think there's anybody there. Houston.
fabric. This is French salon, honey. It's, uh, it says it's a Hispanic grocery now, and it's open. This used to be just the fountain, like a drugstore, the fountain type. Yeah. You could go in and get a Coke float and all that. Yeah. But I think way back in the day there was a saloon there. Was it? Yeah. yeah it All right, go ahead, honey. This is the corner of Jackson and Lamar. This is where the Western Shootout took place. Okay. You know? What year was it? 1857. Oh, before our time. No wonder. Yeah. And over here, where the Windsor is, that used to be the Courthouse Square back in the day, from what I understand. Uh, because in the 1890s, I have a record of um, where the people who built the Windsor bought that block, and it was it was called the Courthouse Square block. So. Want to walk down this way a little piece? Or want to save that for a different day? It doesn't matter. It's going to be hard to do the whole entire area downtown. Yeah. We can just cross the road, honey. I guess we can do the side streets at another time. All right. Okay. No, I'm just going to walk by, honey. It says walk. Huh. And then we got the winery tasting room, honey. Take time to smell the flowers and taste the wine. We'll go up to the end of this block and come back down the other side and we'll be done. And then we've got all of those buildings and that one out there, it has the, shi the Shiver signs on it. They're redoing it, I guess.
Yes, and then we're gonna go back down, go to the truck, honey. It's about enough walking for me today. Yeah. They probably will right after they hit us. I don't think so, honey. It just says municipal building. It's been there. there was a plaque over there. I should, probably oh, should have checked it. Attorneys at law. State Farm Office. I think that's where we got our wedding bands, honey. Like it might be closed. Okay. Uh, howdy. Howdy, how y'all? Just fine. Uh, $10. Like for those big ones? Yeah. They say this? Um, they all say general? Yeah. Okay. I got a sugar base. They're real sweet. They're sweet as water. How big are they? Thanks a lot of his watermelons, honey. Yeah. That's okay. I wasn't making fun of him, honey. I wonder what happened to me down this way. I don't know, honey. Sweet Georgia Bakery, honey. I've never been in there. Well, you know, it was, it was, yeah. you know, one time it was, you had the Cappuccino Cafe. Uh, well, it's just, I'm, it's just not to walk, honey. But you know, they were together, well, they were separate, then they were together, and I think they separate again. There we go. Yeah. We probably could have, honey, but it had the orange hand up, so. Kenner Brew. Yeah. Scotch jewelry, honey.
Yeah, there's the station. You don't get much advertising for it. That's all you see is just that little sign on the door. We just about, yeah, yeah. I think they were over on Felder at one time, huh? The barber shop. Yeah. I'll be right down here, honey. Hi. Howdy. There's a lot of local history that took place here at this intersection uh, where Lamar and Jackson cross each other. Uh, I don't know that this actually happened uh, at this intersection, but in 1840, the sheriff was murdered. Then two years later in May, uh, May the 2nd, 1842, uh, the local farmers broke into the courthouse, which is where the Windsor is now, and they stole the Superior Court clerk, Jacob uh, W. Cobb's desk and papers. And uh, they left the courthouse and went to the edge of town and, and burned his desk and the papers. Then the next day, on May the 3rd, the farmers kidnapped the deputy sheriff, uh, Isaac McCary, McCrary, and threatened anyone to bid uh, thus preventing the public sale of land by the sheriff, Ebenezer Cottle. But what I wanted to talk about was on July the 6th on this corner, there was a shootout, you know, Wild West style. Uh, it was between uh, the newspaper editor, Charles W. Hancock, and saloon owner, Harvey W. Shaw. Uh, from what I can understand, Shaw... Uh, assaulted uh, Hancock. I do not know what it was about. Uh, the newspaper article that I found was like an uh, inch and a half long, single column. But anyway, uh, Shaw assaulted Hancock and a shootout resulted. Uh, Shaw, his wife, and his brother Bill uh, were on one side and Hancock and uh, Noonan, McBain, and Tom Durham were on the other side. And from what I read in the article was that once the shooting started, uh, Shaw's wife ran out of the house and fired three shots at McBain, and then she heard her husband fall, uh, say, I, I'm, I'm dying, and she fainted, and, and from what I understand, it caused her to have like a nervous breakdown. Uh, Shaw died and his brother Bill was shot three times but recovered from his wounds and then later uh, Tom Durham felt so badly about shooting uh, Harvey Shaw that he committed suicide and it all took place right here at this intersection uh, the uh, block where the 
Windsor is was where the courthouse was at one time. It was the courthouse square. In 1890, the America's Manufacturing and Development Corporation bought the courthouse square in preparation for the construction of the Windsor Hotel. And the Windsor was built in uh, 1892. Oh, and one other thing, the buildings on the left of where I'm standing, uh, between uh, Lamar and Forsyth Street, south of Jackson Street, that whole block was destroyed by fire in 1884. Uh, I think there was like maybe a couple of buildings left, but everything else was burned and they, everything was shortly rebuilt. Mm -hmm.